since we have triangular load distribution on beams on grid lines A and B, the tributary load from the slab will use a different formula for that. So that is giving us 1 on 3 multiplied by NDL multiplied by LX where our NDL is the dead load of slab. LX our LX is the short span. So if we work this out, if we insert the values in the formula, we'll have one on three multiplied by NDL. So our dead load is 6.8. The short span is 4.8 meters. So if we solve this, we'll have 10.88. 10.88 kilonewton per meter. Okay, so the total dead load on beam A and B, total dead load on beam A and B will be so the self weight of the beam plus the tributary load from the slab, so 2.16 plus. 10.88 and that will give us 13.04 kilonewton per meter. Great. So we've been able to calculate the dead load acting on beam A and B. We'll now move on to calculate the life load. So that will be five. Uh, step five. So calculate. Calculate life load on beam A and B. Okay, so with this, with the life load, we'll just consider the tributary load from the slab. And we'll use the same formula we, we used previously. So we'll use this formula. We'll use this formula. And we'll substitute the NDL with NLL, that being the life load of the slab. So consider tributary load load from slab. And that is giving us one on three multiplied by NLL. That's the dead life load of the slab multiplied by our LX. So that will give us one on three multiplied by life load is 1.5 kilometer per square meter and the short span is 4.8 meters. So if we work this out, we'll have 2.4 kilonewton per meter. Right. So our uh, total life load, total life load on beam E and B is 2.4 kilonewton per meter. And we had 13.04 as a total life dead load. As the total dead load okay so our ultimate load ultimate load on beam a and b load on and b as we did previously so we we'll multiply the dead load and the life load by their respective partial factors of safety so that will be 1.4 that's for the dead load multiplied by 
13.04 plus 1.6 multiplied by 2.4 that will give us 22.1 kilonewton per meter so that's the ultimate load acting on beam A and B so let me just do a quick sketch and right, so So this will be our grid line. This will be our grid line. Grid line one. And this is grid line two. And the span is 4.8. So 4.8 meters. And we'll have a uniformly distributed load with magnitude 22.8. 1 kilonewton per meter. Right, guys. So that brings us to the end of calculating beam loads on a simply supported slab panel. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Kindly like the video to help the channel grow.